Hello, everybody. This is Val. With this is how we do it. Well, y'all, Empire comes on with the nominations, the uh, Ace of Nomination Awards. Well, Lucius says that getting nominated is not a big deal because he got nominated 19 times, but he never won. And old Becca said, well, maybe this is the old time, Lucius. <laughs> and as they announced the nominees, of course, Jamal was one of the first empires to be empire artists to be nominated. And uh, Lucius had said that it's not so much about the nominations. He want to announce his Swift Screen nomination because that's the biggest an uh, announcement of the night, y'all. God, I got to get this stuff together. I'm so tight tongue. I just don't know what to say. But Lucius, cha, cha, cha. Swift Stream, Swift Stream, Swift Stream. Y'all got to make that announcement. Beating the bushes trying to tell people we got three months for our permit. We they trying to find a new place to have that little cookout deal that Cookie Den was trying to throw together. Well, while they trying to get the cookout together and uh Cookie was was thanking him for try, for all the stuff that he's trying to do to uh keep it moving and she's apologizing for letting that man use her. Mm. Like, you know, he said it ain't your fault, mama, but you know. Well anyway, y'all Cookie said that they got to go to the prison, and uh, she want Hakeem to meet this little singer that uh, she know, a rapper. And so uh, Hakeem, like, <coughs> he don't really want to go, but because it's you, mama, I go. You know how kids do. They don't really want to go nowhere, but they go anyway. Mm-hmm. That's what Hakeem's sitting there about right now. is congratulating Jamal in the, uh, in the upper office about his nomination for the award. And then she hugging on him and kissing on him. And then she said, you know, well, I'm going to meet you in the car, babe. And guess who heard that? Lucius. And Lucius looking at him like, mm -hmm, like a proud daddy scrutting in there like this, him, him. But you know what? And then he said, uh, you hitting that? And uh, he said, but I'm still gay. So he really told him, yes, I'm hitting that. But the thing that's getting me about this whole situation, why is it that all the fans are forgetting that Jamal is actually bisexual? You don't have to be one or the other. Isn't that why they were singing a song for freedom? That you ain't got to be either black or white or you ain't got to be gay or straight or one or the other? Have y'all forgot? Jamal is bisexual, y'all. He's not just gay. He don't even remember that. He got a baby by another, his first baby mama, remember? Well, y'all say that ain't his baby. But he slept with her. He thought it was his baby. Duh. Bisexual. Not gay. Mm -hmm. with Lucius trying to sit down at a table with Mimi. And and I uh, signed those swift screen papers without the board. And Mimi saying, don't you think we need to bring the board in on this? Child, I knew it was some funky about this deal. I'm still waiting on it to hit the fan. Because Mimi's sitting there with the pen, and I'm thinking, okay, what is Lucius trying to sign away? This girl is up to something. You hear me, y'all? Y'all better watch her. Watch her. Watch her. Because Lucius, his, she just giving him enough rope, just giving him enough rope to hang himself, y'all, to hang himself. Lucius, you're playing with the big dogs. Now, Lucius, Jamal, and uh, Cookie is at the uh, Ace Awards. And then they got the singer coming on. You know the little girl that uh, uh, Kiana used to sing with uh, Hakeem, well, anyway, she comes on with her little song. Child, I like the way she rolled that butt when she was dancing. Now, that was so enough cute. And I like them little bit of um, skateboards that the guys was on. But the song, I don't think I really too care too much about. But she did that. And then when she um, got up there to um, talk and announce the awards, you know, Lucius and uh, Cookie was down at the, at the bottom talking. And but before that, she told Jamal that she was going to the prison to sing. And then Jamal, like, Mama... You been there for me. Be there for them. Go ahead on, Jamal. I always like you anyway. And then here go Lucius. 
She talking to Lucius after Jamal had left, asked him could she use Leviticus, which is their club, as a venue for her cookout. And of course, Lucius said, no, because you didn't help me when I needed you, so why should I help you? That's about the size of it, y'all. And then while all this was going on, uh, Kiana announced the Rap Award uh, nominee. And, of course, it was Frida Gap. Y'all know Hakeem sitting around waiting on his name to be announced. But everybody know Frida won that battle. The only way Hakeem won it is because he rallied the crowd. He gave them a, a, a music show. But the battle for us being able to rap and throw it down. Frida got had that child. I mean, you know, I like Hakeem. I love Hakeem. Hakeem got a good rap. I like that slow rap because that's what old folks like. I like the way he do it. You hear me? But for that gangster rap, Frida got is the gangster of rap so far <laughs> in this show. And then there comes Scott and Jamal singing their song, You Matter, We Matter. I matter, you matter, we matter. Now, I like that song. I like that song. When I first heard that song, I knew it was about being black and white off the top. Okay, my thing about the song, okay, um, after they sung that song, you know, this guy came on talking about pick a side, you either black or you either white, and, and Jamal either gay or he either uh, straight. Uh, like, they got to choose. Let me tell you one thing, people. I got a biracial grandchild. Okay. When that child with us, he looked black. When he with his white grandparents, he looked white. When he with my son and his wife, he looked like both of them. I hate for somebody to have to tell my grandbaby to choose because he looked like a little white boy off the top. And then deny me. Deny all his uncles and his uh, his uncles and his auntie. Deny the people that hug and kiss on him and love on him. And say, you either black or you white. You the color of your skin. Okay. But now with Jamal. Why is it everybody keep forgetting he was married? Why? Jamal could have said it right then. Look, man. Yes, I'm gay. But I did have a wife and a child. Did y'all forget that news report? Come on now. Do I have to pick? That's the problem with the world. They try to put you in a box. That's what that song is all about. Putting a person in a box and telling you to stay in that box. That's what Sky Summers is trying to get out of. She's trying to get out of the box because her fans think she's one thing. And that lady that always talked for her, which is her manager... They keeping her in that little box. She trying to break out. Y'all let her break out. Let her be her. Let her not be either black. Let her not be either white. Let her be her. Because she's a combination of them both. And the greatness of both of those races came together and made that beautiful woman. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all believe it or not. That's the way your girl take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even with Jamal, he can screw who he want to. That's his After business. all the shit that hit the fan on stage, honey. <sighs> took, her, took everybody by surprise. Lucius, the manager, Jamal, and Sky sitting in, 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 in a room. And the manager fussing like, how could y'all let this happen to her? And Lucius, like the big dog that he is, saying he can fix it. He say when she sing at the, uh, uh, at his screaming um, announcement, everybody on Twitter going to forget it. Everybody like y'all going to go, go, go pick on somebody else because she's going to go on to the next project. Mm, and he might be right, y'all. Just might be right. What you think? Rhonda and um, Andre House, the alarm is just going off. Child, that's what I hate about these new alarms in the house. You get these damn things. And they go off every few seconds, and then you get used to them going off. And when you really, when something go off, and then you hear it going off, you don't really think it's nothing because you just match the buttons. And then you, like, call the folks and say, it's all right, the alarm just went off. Cha. But guess who was at the door while they was talking like that? And uh, 
Uh, Andre saying, thank you for carrying a boy. Child, I already know what the sex is. A little boy. I heard uh, Lucius call him Michael one time. Well, anyway, <laughs> Anika at the gate, time about she going to... Um, Come by and, and 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 help her with the nursery or see the do something in the nursery, child. Honey, it's all about the baby. Now, we have um, Jameson introducing Jamal. And then uh, they talk about how many times he has been uh, nominated that night, which was five times. Of course, Beck is screaming it out so proud. But the thing is, while he was up there announcing... Um, that uh, Jamal was up there was telling people about his award. He told them that they can get a chance to look at the Pepsi commercial. And so when the Pepsi commercial started playing, uh, Jameson went down to stand by Lucius. And he said if uh, um, Jamal win the Song of the Year award, that he was going to push him very far. And then he said that Lucius set a bar, a very high bar, and looked like Jamal has already passed that bar. And he asked him, is that every parent's dream? And Lucius said, it's not my dream. Then he said, I'm just kidding. Lucius is telling the truth. He don't want nobody, especially Jamal or Hakeem, to surpass him when it comes to music. Chai, when they got through uh, looking at the commercial, and then they, they, the man told him that uh, Jamal would even be on the label of a magazine, the Essence magazine, y'all. And then um, he said, well, how are they going to do that? And then don't they, don't, we shouldn't determine he got a girlfriend. And Jameis is, is, is pushing Jamal because he's straight up gay. That's what he thinks. And uh, Lucius sabotaging him. Once again, he's trying to sabotage him. He tried to do it before, but y'all, I don't know if y'all paid attention on the last one when he uh tried to sabotage uh, Jamal, talking about and horn in, talking about can I play with him? You know what I'm saying? Lucius is jealous, but yet he's proud. He's caught in a bad place, y'all. He is caught in a bad place when it comes to the success of Jamal. He don't know whether he like it or. He don't like it. He like it for a business purpose, but for a personal purpose, he ain't with it. He want them children to always forever be underneath them, underneath him. And he's doing everything, not everything, but every opportunity where he can stab him, a jab at him, he do. And let's hope that just because he, he he's not straight up gay, he's bisexual, that this man go ahead on and put him on the cover. Because Lucius is a dirty, 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 dirty dog when it comes to being a daddy. Y'all yeah. believe it or not. Cookie showed up at the prison trying, uh, you know, to do her concert that she had promised Pepper that she would do. Well, she was walking in. Of course, she had the flashbacks for when she first got there and she started crying like uh, she couldn't um, stay, stay there for seven years without her kids, you know. And... That's understandable. Okay, now she was going to turn around and leave, and Portia talked her into going on through the gates because, you know, the girl was almost out of there, y'all. And don't you just love Portia? I'd look forward to seeing what color Portia gonna have going to be each and every week, honey. I just love it. Well, anyway, Portia walked in with Cookie, and then one of the prison girls asked her, Is that your wife? And I like what Portia said. I don't do nothing but hot dog, sausages, and Polish sausages. <laughs> don't forget the Polish sausages. <laughs> well, anyway, Cookie was getting all the lowdown of what's been going on while she was out. Okay. The warden walked up and told her that the girl that she wanted Hakeem to hear sing got life over two pace. Well, the warden didn't tell her. The other the warden told us that she wasn't going to be getting out. And the prison mates told her that she got life for uh, killing a girl over two pace. Well, there that go. Anika <laughs> is at Rhonda's house bearing presents. Girl, she gave her some booties and all the little silver stuff that you give, like a silver spoon in your mouth, a silver rattle, and all of that silver stuff in a little box. And then Rhonda was telling her that Lucia said been calling her child that she's carrying the heir. The heir parent, y'all, what you say? And then the phone rung, and then she said, I got to get there because we haven't had a phone put in in the nursery yet. Mm-hmm. And when she walked out, what a nigga do? 
flopped around because she knows she's jealous, y'all, and knocked down one of the little toys that she had set up there. Yes, goodness. What the little thing going to do next? She just out of place in this whole situation. Jamal uh, Jam singing at uh, Lucia's announcement about the, full, the Swift Stream thing. Let me say this about uh, Sky. Now, y'all know in real life, Sky done had some babies, right? And then I, I don't know if she's still pregnant now, but I was thinking this in the last episode when she first slept with Jamal and all through this episode. Wouldn't it be nice if Jamal got her pregnant? That would be real cute, wouldn't it? Because it was it would be a baby made out of love in that moment that they had sex. Something to think about. Something to think about. I've been thinking about it for the longest. I wonder if the writers got hope to that too. She's looking just like she could be pregnant for him. Because you know how fast pregnancy goes in uh, in movies. Look how big Ronda is right now. She just got pregnant a couple episodes back. This will be good for <laughs> a good story to, to fall back on. Well, anyway, let me come on and tell y'all what's going on now. Now, he called up Mimi uh, to announce the uh, the Swift Stream that they had bought Swift Stream. Which is all fine and dandy, all good. He said, we partners in crime. But what he really didn't know, she had a, her own partner. He knew she was married. And um, then she introduced her wife, child. I could have fell to the damn floor. You hear me? Camilla Wiseman. She took her last name, too. So she named after that lady that gave the announcement, Mimi Wiseman. So she got the money, the clout, and everything she got her last name y'all when she walked up there and said Mimi walked I mean um Camilla walked up there remember me Lucius and she gave him that look and you know what I said I remember I remember how he tried to run her out of town I remember how he tried to pay her off I remember how he dogged her out and didn't want him with her, his son, but that was his son's choice, not his. Get it? Do we think <laughs> that she don't really love Mimi? She did all this for Hakeem? And to get back at Lucius? She told Hakeem he can do better without Lucius back in the first season. Don't y'all remember that? How soon we forget and try to bag these this crooked ass man? I feel sorry for him, y'all. I feel sorry for him. Don't he deserve my sympathy, y'all? I don't know if I want Camilla to get it, but hopefully she's trying to get it for Hakeem. Hakeem, Hakeem, Hakeem. You supposed to be the prince anyway, right? Mm. Chai after Mimi announced his, his her, her wife, they went straight to the board meeting. And then she played all the low-down, dirty stuff that Lucius said about the board members and how he don't really need them. And that's his company. He going to do what the hell he want to. But he forgot he got board members. He just can't do what the hell he want to. So Mimi said, let's vote him out. She said, let's vote him out. Okay. What's going to happen now? You know what? Um, they got to rally everybody together. Uh, they saying that because of all the lions that own shares that they got it. But they forget about how Lucius dog out each and every lion in the family. Cookie can turn on him. Andre can turn on him. Damn, even Jamal can turn on him. Because Jamal can think about, man, you ain't running this right. And if he really knew how Lucia was trying to stab him in the back around corners, he can turn on him. And, of course, Hakeem can turn on him, y'all. Look how he been doing him. But yet and still, they saying all we need is one board member, and then we got this. What they going to do to get that one board member? Don't you think they ought to get five or six of them to go with him? <laughs> Lucius, you got the big head, dog, and it's time to pop it. Now, back at the house, uh, Lucius, uh, Jamal, and Sky are sitting around listening to more nominations about what's going on. And um, 
Jamal got another nomination. But why Jamal had got that nomination and she was congratulating him on that nomination, she she kind of peeped him about that dude that was rubbing up on him at the bar when she was singing. And he said, uh, and, and she said, well, don't sweat it. We just hooked up and it was beautiful and all of that, but I'm not trying to change you. You know what? She's smart. The best way to draw somebody to you is to let them go free and don't put no ties on them. Say, look, you be you as long as you as long as you're you and they got that that that, that relationship. I think it's just going to get stronger because she is allowing him to be himself. She's not saying just because we slept together, you mass. That's where a lot of women make mistakes. Just because we slept together, you mass. Puss ain't never caught, kept no man, y'all. And it sure ain't trying to keep no gay man. A bisexual man, it might. <laughs> Child, I was waiting on this conversation. Hakeem on the door, and guess who was standing up there biggest day? Camilla. And then he like, what you doing here? But you know what she said, and which I agree with. When she got sent away, Hakeem never once looked for her. Hakeem got the jets of Lucius Lyons, jets of the empire in his name. Y'all remember that, right? Hakeem can fly and go anywhere in the world. He got his own jet. Okay, I thought about that when they kicked Camilla, Camilla out, that he didn't go look for her. And she asked him that, point blank, why didn't you? And she, he said, well, you took her money. He just believed what he was told. But she reminded him that the promise that they made, that they were going to be uh, Anthony and Cleopatra, and that they can they can rule the empire without Lucius. Y'all, is she is she telling him the truth? Is she telling him the truth? That's the only thing that I'm afraid of, that she might be lying to him. But Mimi might die from breast cancer. You know she got breast cancer cancer and she may be using Mimi to uh do this for Hakeem. We don't know. We just got to wait and see. But you know how she slid her hands down to what the woo-wah, y'all. The woo-woo-woo-wah. Let's hope it's real. Now, they at the prison. And uh, Cookie is standing on stage. And she's talking about how she missed her kids 17 years. She grew up without her. I mean, her kids grew up without her. Okay. And then she gave the mic to Hakeem. And she announced him. And Hakeem said... The messed up thing, he said he was afraid to perform before them, thinking about how his mama was living in that place. You got to think about it. Hakeem has been rich all his life, going into a prison, culture shock, seeing how his mama was living for 17 years. Now, say what you want to y'all. When it comes to children and their mom, even if they're biological, real dad, people they grow up on, do something to their mama. Put your finger on it. Now, Hakeem got on stage, and guess what song he sung? He sung the song that he wrote for Camilla. Now, y'all listen to that song. It's the, in the song, it talks about Anthony and Cleopatra. With the both of them together can perform miracles. We perform miracles. He wrote that for Camilla. And he sung it in the prison. Y'all better watch out. Watch out. He's still about to hit the fan at Empire. So Andre had to go to the prison where they was having a concert at to tell uh, Cookie that they're about to lose the empire. That they need her vote. They need Hakeem vote. They need everybody vote to uh, save the empire. Okay. Cookie said that she got to see Jazzy. And she ain't got time to go there. Is there something else she can do? Of course, we all know, if some of us don't know, you can sign a proxy and somebody can vote in your place. Okay. Now, Andre would have been the logical choice. To have vote in a place. So she talked, wanted to talk to Hakeem. And tell him. That even though it's Camilla. And he asked her straight up. Did she know that Camilla. 
was didn't take the money, but she said that no, she didn't take the money, but she bounced anyway. She left. Okay, Camilla told her, told him that, and Camilla was telling the truth. But my thing is, when she talked to him and she got ready to sign up her proxy, I was thinking, don't give it to Hakeem because Hakeem is not in in the right frame of mind right now. Y'all got to know how this boy been messed around. You don't give it to the child that's been messed around and try to get him to say the man that's fucking over him, do you? Do you? Y'all, look at all the people he stole from Hakeem and all the stuff he promised him and didn't do it. Like them crazy, stupid-ass daddies always do. I promise you this, and then don't do it. Then your children turn on you, and then you wonder why. He did get a chance to see Jazzy before she left the prison. And Jazzy called, her, called Cookie out on all her crap. When she got out, she did a concert for Lucius Free Lucius, and she didn't think about them once once she got, got her freedom. And she told her to, Cookie, why don't you just go on back to your empire? Mm. Okay, y'all, it's time for the goat, the vote. Everybody screaming, where Hakeem? Where Hakeem? Where Hakeem? Okay, now they're sitting at the table getting ready to go to the vote. Okay, now, Andre didn't get um, the tricky, tricky trick. He didn't get the trickster to vote on his side. And um, <laughs> um, Thirsty thought he had ate enough coochie that he was going get, to get, uh, get that lady vote, but she didn't vote for him because she said he ate over a million dollars, a billion dollars worth of cooch. <laughs> okay, they everybody saying, yay, 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 nay, 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 nay. And then it got to Hakeem. Okay, child. It got to Hakeem. Hakeem was thinking about when his daddy punched him in the face, when his daddy took Camilla, Camilla when he took the little dancers from him, the, 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 the singer. And then all of the stuff. And then Camilla, sit, uh, 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 Camilla sitting outside thinking, um, uh, Go ahead, O King Akeem. Go ahead. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. But you gotta think about all the dirt Lucius did to Hakeem. Flashback. Hakeem was having flashback flashback. Remember? Don't y'all remember when he punched him in the face? Don't y'all remember when he took his little girlfriend? Don't y'all remember when he 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 said he was gonna get him um Lion Dot I mean uh the Empire? And then he, he he screwed him over. He screwed him out of that. And don't y'all remember when he he ran his girlfriend out of town? And the little dancers. Don't y'all remember that? Did we all forget that? I think I just said five things right then. And how uh, he was trying to buy him and steal him back from his mama. All that kind of stuff. How he was threatening him about the songs that he wanted him to sing. And how he just threatened him the other day. About being loyal. And then how he took his name from him. Or he tried to take his name from him with that little Frida Gat, Gat girl. And then y'all, y'all expected him to vote for him. I'm trying to tell you. When a father wound a child like that. Sometime y'all. This a TV show. But sometime. Hmm. Ain't no coming back for that. We hope it's a whole big family uh, get together later on. But what they what did they kept telling Lucius and what Lucius kept telling them? It's not a happy ending. That ain't the kick in the head. The kick in the head is once Hakeem voted against Lucius and to take Lucius off of the board of directors, honey, guess what Mimi did? Mimi announced that she is going to be going for her chemotherapy and her radiation for uh for her breast cancer and she's going to put Camilla in charge while she's gone on day to day operations they're going to be working hand in hand with Camilla now ain't that the kick in the head now Everybody's back at the house. Cookie, ha, um, Lamar, Jamal, and Lucius. Then they hear gunfire. Cookie said, y'all stay right there. And and Lucius shooting up the thing, and she telling him to put down the gun. And he said, selling CDs out the back of the car. 17 years of their life that she sacrificed of, their, of her life. And he's saying, for what? What do we do all this for? For these ungrateful bitches? Talking about the children, y'all. 
And then she trying to calm him down saying it ain't over. They own majority shares. They still own the company. Jamal is still on the label. He's still on the label. Come on now. They about to announce the Song of the Year Award. That's your favorite thing that you like to hear? Put the gun down. Your sons need you. You're a lion. Wipe your face. Get your shit together. And go upstairs and listen to the awards, y'all. But you know what? This was a touching moment, y'all. This was a touching moment. Lucius liked to broke my heart, y'all. I felt sorry for him. I felt sorry for him because I saw the pride of that man break down in the tears. You know how it is. Even though they treat us like a dog and you see them cry, you just want to hold them in your arms. But see, that's the, that's the conversation between a husband and a wife. When he grabbed her, she knew how he was hurt. Just because she hugged him and held him in that moment, it don't mean they're getting back together. She knew he had to have a shoulder to cry on, and it needed to be her. And she let it be her in that moment. In that moment. You hear me? They are still a family, even though it's a broken family. So... Couldn't nobody reach him like that but Cookie. And here we go back at Andre House. Man, the alarm going off again. Don't you just hate how the alarm just go off and on, off and on, and you keep setting it, keep setting it, and it keep going off. Child, when Rhonda went down to reset the alarm because it's new, somebody pushed her down the stairs you know when I first saw them stairs and she was pregnant I didn't like them I didn't like all of them stairs in that house to begin with Rhonda went tumbling down them stairs Lord is she dead is the baby dead is the baby gonna come early and be retarded some Lucius don't like cooking and gas Lucius to go downstairs and listen to the nominees of the Music of the Year Award. Child, he was nominated and Jamal was nominated. And when, when Andre heard that, Andre knew to get the hell up out of there. He said, let me go call Rhonda and tell her the good news. Congratulations, gentlemen. And he made a quick exit. <laughs> and Lucia said ain't that a bitch and it went off 